Hey folks, Charles 75 in here, and today we'll be gluing the fabric on the sides of Randy Crooks' Telecaster. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier than it was on Unbelievable's Telecaster because we can just cut these two long strips of fabric and apply them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to spread our glue, and we're going to start from about where the strap button would be in the middle. And we'll spread our glue. and uh, get that some good adhesion so that we can get that fabric on there. And as we set up, it's gonna get kind of tacky and that's gonna help us in our process. So let me finish spreading that and we'll come back and apply fabric. All right, so here we go. Okay, so we can just stop right there and know the work you're seeing is actually on the finished guitar because I'm an idiot and I messed it up. Not to mention that, you know, a lot of the work you can't even see in the camera angle and you have no idea how much is cut out at that point either. And, uh, but after despite getting that fabric to lay down perfectly and everything great in the end, I messed it up because I'm an idiot. All right, so we spread our glue all the way around and we're just going to line this up in a way uh, where it kind of makes sense we're still creating a bit of a seam here so come back off that a bit and we're gonna slowly come around and as we come around, I'll move the body so you can see better. And I'm pulling the fabric tight as I go. And that's going to help it as I push into the body. And you notice as I push into the body, that's when the fabric is first coming in contact with the guitar. So we won't get those spaces. And this is really, um, really helpful. And we'll let that set a little bit. There we go. Yep. So I don't get those uh, wrinkles in there as we go. Okay, and now turn that. And again, we're just pushing everything in. Now, you think right now we'd want to trim this, right? But no. Let's go ahead and let's let this glue set. And then we'll come back and we'll trim it so that the extra length doesn't weigh it down and pull it separated out. But my experience has been let this glue set. Because that way, if I, you can cut this seam a lot straighter once we've put a lot of base poly on it, and you won't have it fraying, and you won't know that there's that's where the seam meets. Okay. All right, so I'm an idiot. I had everything all done. I had both sides of the fabric on. I had done the base poly and had it all hardened up and starting to trim it. And I was going too fast and over here and I cut into the side fabric. So now what I'm going to do is we're again, we've got a bubble here and I'm going to lay that here. And I'm going to use the same method as we did on the second side. to make sure that we get our fabric on correctly. Okay, so.
All right, folks, here we have it. Randy Crooks' Telecaster with all its side fabric on. And so you can see, here we go, from the, the transition from there to there. And we'll come over to the back and we'll get that view. But I think it works out really great from the top to the, uh, the bottom there and to the back. And of course, we have our transition uh, from the top to our horns and back, which I think came out really well. All right, so if you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see some more videos, click on one of the videos at the end. I want to thank Martin of Martin Lucas's Guitar Corner for the new intro music. And as always, I want you to enjoy your guitar journey. And I want to thank you for being part of mine. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you, everyone.